All right, walking inside uh, to the right of the doors, your monitor panel and your control switches. Uh, so first switch right here, accent light. So you got some LEDs that go under here. Uh, then your main lights is your ceiling. Uh, then you have awning lights under your awning. Uh, then a step light uh, just lights it up so when it's dark you can see the steps going in and out. Uh, then you have your slide room switch in and out. You just press and hold that until it stops uh, It'll stop on its own once it's all the way out or in uh, Then you have your awning switch extend and retract uh, So you press and hold the extend button to have it go out uh, When you're rolling out the awning you're gonna want to watch it um, They don't stop on their own uh, So you'll see a valance fold down you'll be able to see the bare tube that the awning connects to uh, once you see that happening, uh, let off the switch, um, or else it'll roll up backwards. Uh, it might cause some damage, uh, so just be careful when you're rolling it out. Also, uh, if it's really windy, or if it's a heavy rainstorm, uh, just roll it in. Um, that way it doesn't cause any damage or get ripped off. Uh, then you have your water pump switch here. Uh, so if you're using your fresh water tank, uh, your portable water, uh, you can flip that switch on and it'll turn on the pump. Uh, once it builds up the proper pressure, it will shut off. Uh, and then every time you open a faucet, um, it'll kick on again. And then once you shut it, once it gets to the proper pressure, it will shut off. Uh, and then when you're done using it and putting it away, just make sure you have that shut off. Or else it will be constantly drawing from your battery. Uh, then you have the switch for your gas on your water heater. Uh, so you just flip that on. This light will come on. Uh, once it's lit, that light will go out. If it does not light, uh, that light will be on. That's telling you uh, there's a fault. It didn't, um, wasn't getting proper gas or whatever. And just heard it lit um, so yeah if that light stays on it means it didn't light uh, check your gas tanks make sure they're full make sure they're on um, sometimes if you haven't used it in a while it'll take a couple tries uh, so just flip it off and dry back again uh, then you have your monitor panel right here and a couple switches uh, so you push each button in and it will light up right here telling you how full the tanks are or how charged your battery is. Uh, so you have your battery, uh, your fresh water tank, uh, your black tank which is a toilet, and your gray tank which is sink and shower. Uh, then straight ahead uh, is your thermostat right here. Uh, this is only for your furnace. Uh, you have your on off switch right here. Uh, and then below is the temperature control uh, it just kind of goes right here and it lines up with the numbers up there uh, it's kind of guesswork but if you get it kind of in the range up here lined up uh, where you want it uh, should be good uh, to use it just click that on uh, set it to your temperature and it'll come on uh, if you're not using it or storing it for the winter make sure you uh, push it all the way to the right and hear it click that means it's off uh, If it does not click uh, when you go and turn it off, it means it's still on uh, And this only goes down to 50 degrees. So in the winter uh, It obviously gets colder than 50. So we'll try and keep lighting itself uh, Then to the left is your converter right here uh, You just push that and it will open uh, so you have all your breakers uh, your fuses for your 12 volt right there, uh, 110 breakers. Uh, furnace is right there, it only comes out that area right there. Uh, but with this small unit, uh, that, that'll that heat it up in no time. Uh, then your fridge is right here. Uh, your handles, all you do is push it like that or pull it. And then pull out and it opens up. Uh, your switches to control it are right here uh, So you have your on off switch right here. So you push it in uh, It's on uh, then you have your control right here uh, 
telling you what source it's drawing off of. Uh, with it pushed in, it's on auto, and the light's on next to it telling you uh, what it's on. Uh, with auto, it goes looks for electricity first. If you lose power overnight or if you're not plugged in, it'll automatically go to gas if your tanks are on. If you only want it on gas, uh, you can push that button out and it'll light on gas. Uh, then behind this door is the bathroom. Uh, so a light switch right there. Turns on your lights. Uh, your toilet right here. You have a foot lever right there. Uh, if you press it a little bit, it'll add water to the bowl. If you press it all the way, it'll flush it. Uh, then your sink, storage underneath, and medicine cabinet with a mirror. Then you have your vent fan right here. Uh, so this knob cranks open the lid. Uh, then you have a push button right here to turn on the fan. Uh, then your shower uh, has a little lock right here, a little rubber latch. Uh, that just pulls off uh, and then it slides open. Uh, hot and cold in there. On uh, your shower head is removable so you can move it um, like a little wand. Uh, and then when you're traveling, just make sure uh, this is put back on so it locks it closed so it's not flinging around. Alright, uh, kitchen sink. Uh, some drawers for storage. Uh, more storage up there. Uh, you have a couple of light switches here. Uh, so that first one's going to be for those lights. Uh, and then this switch right here is for the outside speakers. Uh, just like that. Uh, then you have your stove top. Uh, this flips up. Uh, then you have your three burner knobs right here. Uh, you have your sparker, so you just turn that to high. Uh, and you keep turning that until it lights. Uh, and then you have your oven right here. Uh, to light it, you just turn into a little flame. Uh, and there's a pilot uh, down there. Uh, if you haven't used it in a while, uh, use a lighter, a grill lighter to light it. Um, then once it's lit after that, uh, then you can use the sparker, uh, and it should light up every time. Uh, and then this little button, you have some lights around the knobs, and an oven light. Uh, then you have household microwave, uh, you have your radio, uh, it's also your DVD player, uh, and that comes out right here. Uh, then your TV hookup right here, uh, and it comes with a TV mount. Uh, on this one, you can take off, uh, bring your TV outside to that mount. Uh, all you do is just lift up on it, and it slides out. It's just a little uh, V, uh, and then it just slides in there. Then you have your cable hookup right here. Uh, so this little button is a booster if you're using the antenna on the roof uh, You're gonna want that pushed in so you get a better signal um, But if you're using your satellite or park cable uh, Make sure that's turned off or else it'll interfere with the signal uh, And then your uh, hookups for the DVD player right there uh, The bed is pretty simple You got some storage under here your spare tires there uh, and your fresh water tank is stored there. Uh, you have a couple lights and some wardrobes and some storage up top. Um, and then your slide room has a couple cabinets on the side. Uh, and then the couch, uh, which is a jackknife sofa, you just pull up on the bottom. And it'll fold out into a little bed. Uh, and then to put it back up, you just lift on the bottom. Uh, and then once it gets to that V, uh, you go and grab the top. Uh, and then it will just fold back up. And then that is everything with the 2020-19 CSK Vintage.